Okay, guys, uh, this is going to be something interesting. Um, uh, I have never seen this before, but I guess it's true that these fans, which is a blower fan for the microwave that I took it out of, uh, have three windings. As you can see, uh, there's not two, just 420 volts, but there's actually three. So let me explain you what, I, what I'm doing in here. I made myself a little variac over here, okay? And uh, I dialed up all the way to 120 because that's how I test every transformer. Uh, I basically have an output over here which goes through this wire and it goes right here as an input, okay? Uh, over here is a voltmeter that measures between the input. So uh, if I dial down my variac, let's say to 100 volts, So we got approximately 100 volts. Then you can see that the output voltage, believe it or not, this this fan blower, blower fan, I'm sorry, is also a transformer. So that's how they're saving money on copper <laughs> and an extra transformer, which is expensive uh, when you make it in millions, right? So that middle winding I'm using as an output and then the hot side and the middle winding together makes, uh, in this case, as you can see, it's 20.1 volts, uh, which is this uh, light bulb right here. That light bulb, by the way, is a 28 volt light bulb, okay? And I, of course, measured uh, the difference between uh, wire one and two, one and three, and two and three. And uh, I got it, I got the values uh, in here. So between uh, wire one and two, uh, is 6.95 uh, ohms uh, and then between 1 and 3 is 38.3 ohms and between pin 2 and 3 is 31.37 ohms. I also of course measured it in um, uh, with another meter which I I'm not going to get into that those numbers over there don't pay any attention. Then these down here are the uh, micro Henry's where again I have I'm going to go like this which is going to be crazy on the YouTube uh, but uh, I can get to it at least so you can see that between 1 and 2 I get 67 micro Henry's 1 and 3 660 micro Henry's and between 2 and 3 I get 373 micro Henry's okay so let me pause this for a second okay I uh, have to do some honeydew thing Anyway, so as you can see, at 101 volts, it's generating 20.5 volts on that secondary winding. And here's the light bulb that is for 28 volts, and, and it's not lit as, as bright as it will be as I dial uh, to the maximum 120 volts, 24.3 volts, and the light bulb is a little bit brighter. So, uh, this is something I've never seen, never done. But after experimenting with it, I am uh, pleased with it. So uh, from now on, I will try to remember. Anyway, I hope you find it as interesting as I did.